Welcome to Starmer's press conference. It's a very important day for us, a historical day, and I will try to summarize what Starmus is about, why Stephen Hawking Medal, what are we doing here, what will be in the future, and I uh, hope you will be convinced that this is a kind of a festival which we have to support. Right, Starmus is inspired by stars in music. This is where the title comes, Stars in Music. And this festival is about inspiration. So this is our principal goal, to inspire. Because I personally believe that there is nothing, there is no education, no science without inspiration. This has to be the base of everything and building any future events for, 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 a whole, for humanity in general. Inspiration is, is the most critical, most important thing. Based on this idea, we launched the first Thomas Festival in 2011 and we had Neil Armstrong as our keynote speaker. We were so honored to have him at the festival. And it just worked because of the simple invitation, telling him our idea, our goals, and sharing what we are doing. And his reaction was so, so emotional that he said he has never seen anything like this. And Stephen Hawking was our keynote speaker at Starmus 2 new emotional energy, new inspiration. So again, we went nuts like, how is it possible Stephen Hawking at Starmus Festival? More, more emotions, more inspiration. Finally, we, we, we made headlines last year with a festival, Starmus Tree, dedicated to Stephen Hawking, which is titled Beyond the Horizon, a tribute to Stephen Hawking. This was absolutely beyond the horizon of our imagination. We had seven uh, Nobel laureates, we had Brian Eno, you know, we had Hans Zimmer, we had so many people gathering together. It never happened in the past that you get, uh, it, it was just incredible and we have no words to, to express these, these emotions. Starmus, uh, uh, the core of the Starmus is a conference for people. It's called Discover the Cosmos and Change the World. This is our this is our strategy. This is what we believe. We think that discovering cosmos, you can change this world. Because first of all, you change people's mentality, their mind. They need to have this global look on the planet from distant galaxies. From They need to think a bit on a larger scale to change this world. And we entertain people with a concept called Sonic Universe. We have roundtable discussion, 108 minutes. We bring space legends, we do star party. So the, the, the festival itself is a combination of many, many different things. It's fun and it's science and it's music. You enjoy, but first of all, you inspire people. That's the, the goal. So we want to show real heroes of society. So this festival is about artists and scientists. It's, it's amazing that I get people who inspired me to put this festival together. So that's why I strongly believe in inspiration which is a key for, for the future. And we go to Norway this year. In one month, we are in Trondheim doing Starmus 4. Amazing, again, lineup. Oliver Stone, Larry King, Jeff Sachs, John Tallinn, Jim Kaspersky, Manuel Charpentier. Perhaps we have between what Nicole was saying, 10 Nobel laureates. And I went to stage. There was one more Nobel laureate added. So there's 11 Nobel laureates, not 10. <laughs> so in two minutes only. <laughs> <laughs> then we, Women in Science, Buzz Aldrin, Harrison Schmidt, Moonwalkers. So we decided to create the Stephen Hawking Medal for Science Communication to appreciate and to recognize lifetime achievements of many musicians and artists, uh, science writers, film producers, directors, for communicating science, for promoting science. Uh, so uh, I want to emphasize that these uh, three names, Hawking, May, and Leonov are the key of the Stephen Hawking Medal. Why? Because I think Brian May represents this bridge between science and, and arts. You know, he's a doctor in astrophysics, and he's one of the most brilliant musicians on the planet. But I always said that Brian would become one of the top scientists in the world if he wouldn't choose music as a primary, uh, as a prime activity of his life, the prime. Uh, but, but now we have Brian creating actually this bridge between music and science. And I'm really proud that he is here. 
And then Alexei Leonov himself, he's an artist. He was painting all his life. He's amazing painter. And he did a sketch of Professor Hawking. So Leonov is a first spacewalk. He was a commander of Soyuz Apollo mission. And he's a legendary scientist. And his survival in, for, at his first spacewalk was only 6% chance. So that's the most risky mission ever done in the history of space exploration with a chance of 6% 6, 6 chance of survival. And I'm also happy to introduce Professor Stephen Hawking. Well, he doesn't need any introduction, so I don't have to say anything about him. Just please welcome Professor Hawking. Thank you. I am very pleased to be here today at the announcement of this year's Starmus. I am aware there is a good deal of speculation in the media at the moment regarding my prediction of our time left on this earth. I strongly believe we should start seeking alternative planets for possible habitation. We are running out of space on Earth, and we need to break through the technological limitations, preventing us living elsewhere in the universe. I am not alone in this view, and many of my colleagues will make further comments on this at Starmus next month. We have a very strong lineup of speakers and it promises to be another extraordinary festival. Furthermore, I am delighted, as are the organizers of Starmas, that Omega is joining forces with us to produce three limited edition gold watches. These are to be given to the winners of the Stephen Hawking Science Communication Medals. Launched last year, these medals are for those who in their own fields have done much to promote and communicate their love of science. I would like to thank Omega for this initiative and for their sponsorship. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Stephen. Thank you very much, Garrick. I would like also from my side um, to thank you, Professor Israelian and Professor Hawking, for the invitation today. We all at Omega are very thrilled about today's presentation. Thank you for bringing STARMUS together with Omega. This partnership is really something special and somewhere different for us. But our brand has a strong history within science, and this partnership is perfect to maintain our commitment to this important area. As we know in watchmaking, it's not always easy to communicate new innovation or complex technology. In science, I'm sure it's the same. That's why we recognize the importance of this Thomas Festival. It embraces creativity to help the general public understand and appreciate everything about science. But as well as supporting the whole festival, Omega also wanted to show its passion for the Stephen Hawking Medal for Science Communication. Professor Hawking is an inspiration around the world. And to support an award in his name is a true and great privilege and an honor for our brand. As he says, bringing science to the people brings people into science. On the back of the watch, I'm very proud to show you that we have including a medallion representing the design of this award. This features an image of Alexei Leonov during the first human spacewalk and the iconic red special guitar representing music. This was made, and you're going to be able to see it later, by an exclusive technique named laser ablation. 
also a new science that, was only, that is only one year old. Only, only three of these models will be made worldwide and will be produced each year and will be represented to, the, presented to the winners of this award during the Starmus Festival. So I'm very proud to, have, to be here today to announce this partnership. And on behalf of Omega, I want to thank everybody. We believe in that festival as an excellent event, an important one for the future. I got to talk to you as, a, as an astrophysicist, as an astronaut, uh, passion for stars, for galaxies, for spaceships, for airplanes, in particular the Hawker Hunter, which I flew for 22 years in the Swiss Air Force, which is a great airplane, great British product. I have a huge admiration for the achievement of uh, Stephen Hawking. Huge achievement. And I'm a big fan of the Starmus Festival. Uh, last point I would like to address briefly is my link to Starmus. I was part of Starmus One in Tenerife in 2011. Uh, it was a great gathering of scientists and uh, astronauts and extremely inspiring. Neil Armstrong was here, and it was uh, about one year before he passed away in 2012. And I allow myself to mention words of Neil Armstrong here. Some of you may have heard this, but I want, I want to, to say this again. This is Neil Armstrong. Let us hope that our grandchildren at our age can look back and say, the 20th century was a century of advancement and improvement of technology, and the 21st century was a century of advancement and improvement in human character. This is so much Neil Armstrong. We miss him very much. Starmus IV, as you know, the, the theme is life and the universe. I personally look forward a lot uh, to this festival and I'm very happy about the involvement of Omega in this new chapter of science, art, music at the highest level. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Garik, and thank you, uh, everyone on the Starmus board, for uh, wanting to move the festival to uh, Trondheim. I think uh, that was a really brave decision. Uh, the first time we discussed this was about a year ago, and now there is the most fantastic program ever. So I think this uh, is uh, there are many, many people contributing to this, and uh, there's also a local team, uh, not the least uh, the Norwegian University of Science and Technology and the city and the council, but Garik himself, he is just uh, he's so unique. I think he works 25 hours per day, that I know, because I get emails <laughs> all the day and all the night. But uh, without Garik, this wouldn't be possible. I should so say, though, also that I'm extremely pleased that uh, Stephen Hawking is willing to uh, make the trip to Trondheim to sp stay there for the entire festival. I think Stephen's uh, presence will be uh, an enormous inspiration for both young and older scientists, not only because of the science, but also because uh, Professor Hawking has emphasized so much the need for science to interact with the society. I think uh, communicating science is extremely important, and it's more important now than uh, ever. It's uh, one thing that we really need to make sure is that we avoid a division between scientists and the rest of the society. So science should not be an elitist activity. It's something that uh, should be driven by society for the benefit of society, and we should uh, aim for having everyone agree with that. This is not only about taxpayer money, it's actually about how to develop society uh, in the best way, and it's even about how to maintain a healthy democracy. And uh, there's no other way we can do that than actually involving uh, everyone in science, not only explaining the latest discoveries, but perhaps even more importantly, explain how science works. How do we find out things? How, the, how does science correct itself? How much can we or can we not trust science? So I think a festival like this, doing this with enormous enthusiasm and inspiration, is just the right way to reach out to, uh, uh, to the larger community. So then, uh, 
I would like to say a few words about Trondheim. Many of you may not have heard about Trondheim. It's a city of 187,000 uh, people, the third largest in Norway, just south of uh, the Arctic Circle on the coast. Um, it is in many ways uh, a science city, a science capital of Norway in the sense that the concentration of science is extremely high. So the university has uh, something like 36,000 students, maybe even more now. Uh, it has about three, three and a half thousand researchers and around the university there are many technology companies that have uh, grown out of the university uh, with 10 to 15,000. So that if you add up this, this is almost one third of the population. So I think it's an excellent venue for a science festival to have it in a community and co-organized by a community that cares about science. Um, I should also mention that the Ministry of uh, Science and Education in Norway has played a major role in this. Had it not been for them, uh, and maybe the personal involvement of the minister uh, at an early stage, then uh, uh, this, this festival might not have happened. So uh, we should be very grateful to their involvement as well. Look forward to co-hosting the U2 Trondheim and I think that everyone who goes will actually have uh, an exciting time. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Edward. So that's precisely, we want to have 24 hours festival, so we don't want to sleep. During the <laughs> this is why we go to Norway. Well, I want to thank everyone, first of all, Professor Hawking for um, coming to this uh, event. Uh, to Claude, Reynard and Edward and I want to also to thank you uh, for uh, sharing your interests, being here and I'm sure if you can make it to Starmus you will not be sorry. It's, it's going to be a life-changing experience. I'm looking forward to seeing you in Trondheim in Norway. Thank you very much. Thank you.